Hey guys, welcome back to Pete's Garage. Next up, steering column and pedals. Let's get to work. Now before putting the pedals in, I had to put the steering column in because the pedals have to go around the steering column where it goes through the firewall. So what I have here is this is just a Summit Racing uh, steering column. It's tilt, has tilt steering, the turn signals, and the flashes on the other side. And I have the 14-inch Corso aluminum a mahogany steering wheel, which looks really nice for this uh, configuration and is kind of original. It's actually for a 66. Um, and some of you are were wondering why I only have the uh, um, dashboard clamped here is because I, I don't know where that's actually going to sit until I get the body on there. When the body is there, I can push it up into place and put screws around there. So anyway, the steering column comes through and I have a floor mount uh, Two inch is a two inch steering column with the floor mount uh, adapter and that's also a summit racing part. Coming out of the steering column is a one inch double D ad uh, adapter out of the steering column so I have a universal that goes from one inch double D to a three quarter inch double D. That goes down to the steering gearbox again one, uh, three quarter inch double D to the 26 spline onto the gearbox and it works, works very well. So now with that in place I can decide where I want to put my pedals. And first thing I had to do is I had to make an accelerator pedal. And you can see it's, it's got, got plenty of clearance between that and a drive shaft, so there's no problem there. So I, I made the, uh, well, kind of made this pedal. This is an actual uh, pedal with the bracket and everything from a 66 Shelby. And I have it exiting out through the side of the firewall here. Um, and I made this part of the pedal. I made this out of a 316 steel and it's just like a regular gas pedal and it's going to work out real nice but going through if you're making a, a linkage for your your car the, the linkage here is pretty simple I have some 3 8 spherical rod ends screwed to the body with a 3 8 inch galvanized steel rod going through here uh, these control arms are from Midwest Controls and they're nice because you can once you set them where you want them, you lock them in place with bolts, uh, with the bolts onto the onto the rod there, and then you come up and you get these uh, these rod ends with the quarter twenty eight end that goes through. I think these are made by these are by QA one, going right to the linkage of the uh, carburetor. In this case, my throttle bodies, and that comes over here, and I have that hooked up right to my. Uh, accelerator pedal which comes through the firewall and I'll reach through here and just step on it. You can see how how the whole linkage works. Works nice and smooth. I can push it all the way to the floor, open up the secondaries like that and it works real nice. So it's nice and smooth. I'll have a nice smooth throttle uh, acceleration and uh, ability to control the engine at low RPM just very very lightly touching that. So that works, that works great. So the next, the next thing I have to do is mount my pedals and I have I kind of have a lot of room in there but I'm going to be mounting this Wildwood pedal assembly and I'll just set this right here and this is the um, the clutch and brake with the reverse mount cylinders so I have a one inch uh, diameter cylinder for the clutch and two three quarters for the brakes and the reason I'm going to have these reverse mounted is because I want the lines to be inside of the vehicle and they can exit quickly right out to the side and then down brake lines go where they got to go because if you look inside the engine compartment here if I mounted the master cylinder out here where it usually sits with the booster and then my clutch opening my clutch line would come right here these would the lines would have to go around here somewhere and it would have to pass the headers now these headers get up to a thousand degrees and brake fluid and hydraulic fluid, clutch fluid, is not made to sit in a line to be near that kind of temperature. It's going to get really hot. And there are a lot of guys that do that. You have the cylinder out here, you'd have your master cylinder probably somewhere up here, and you could probably exit, maybe go over or go under, and it, it wouldn't look right. And I want to try and have a, a nice clean engine compartment, so I'm going to have it re mount reverse. So if my first task will be to mount these pedals, weld some steel in here with some pork brackets I still have to cut out, this member right here, I'll cut that out, put some steel straight across, weld it in place, and we'll get the, those pedals situated and mounted. 
Okay, so this is how I have my pedals mounted. I have a piece of steel tube that goes up to the front of the firewall there. And you can see where I made that big piece of steel, how it comes in handy. I have that tack welded there. And I have my piece of metal tack welded on the outside here. And I have up on top this piece of metal up here that bolts to the top of the pedal assembly. So it would be no good if I couldn't get this out of here. Let's say I had to service this thing. If I, bolt, if I weld this all in here and I can't get this out of here, it would be difficult. So I can get this out of here. I can take the bolts out from the top, take these bolts out, and this whole assembly will slide straight out, straight out from the back. So if I do have to service it, I'll be able to get it out of there. So let me do some finished welding there and we'll see, uh, see how the pedals work once I, once I get it all welded in place. Okay, now with that bolted in place and all, everything welded, just tack welded in place, all I want to do is come in here and put a gusset from there to the firewall down there just to make this side stronger. And then I'll take those out of there and weld the whole thing up. Well, it's going to be kind of tight in here. Big shoes. Be able to get to all the pedals. Nice and firm. They're nice and Nice and firmly mounted. Exactly what I wanted. Pretty good. Well, we're almost ready. All I need are some brake lines, uh, hook up the hydraulic clutch, and make a shifter when we'll be able to take this baby out for a go-kart ride. So stay tuned, hit subscribe, and thanks for stopping by Peace Garage.